new year to you all today we're going to talk to you about curtaining fabric curtainings can scare quite a lot of people because they don't really know what they're doing but once you've got the basics it's quite easy to make curtains so i've pulled out some of our selection and people always ask why are ours so cheap it's because we've got a really good supplier we get end of lines and so we can give discounts to you. So it makes your curtaining fabrics not that expensive. A lot of these on the table are 3 dollars So if we just run along and you can see we've got lightweight curtainings, tapestry, tweedy types that you could maybe do some upholstery with. So there's lots to choose from here. I'm at the moment making some new cushions for a caravan out of this chenille stuff. So there's lots to choose from. Um, so if I show you some of the tapes and things we've got, so we do something called pinch pleat tape and this is quite good on heavy curtains because when you pull up the strings, it does like three pleats and a gap, three pleats and a gap. So if you've got something that's quite heavy, that works very well. And some people sometimes stitch them together and put like a button on them and it looks very posh. So that's nice. We do buckram as well if you want to do tie backs or some people put the buckram in the top and do their own hand pleated pleats. So that's an option. We do voile tape. So if you want to put up nets or muslins, then this doesn't show it as a big band at the top because it's see through. We do your standard curtain tapes in a one inch, a two inch and a three inch. And this is what you normally find in curtains. And so they just do to a gather. And it's up to you how much you gather. So you can have it so it pulls up tight or so it's a bit looser. And we've got these really good, I want to call them a win one. Um, they're like little plastic bars. And what you can do is when you do your curtain tape and you've pulled it up, you'd never know what to do with the strings. And if you just wind it round and then it keeps all your strings tidy. And normally there's a gap where this tape is and you can just slide it like in no one sees it and you haven't got all those strings hanging down um also this is an old-fashioned product and it doesn't get enough um credit this is a interlining tape okay um, we just call it curtain lining tape and it's got like this pocket flange here and what you would do is if you had some fabric to make like loose linings if you were going to do thermal linings and you could use polar fleece um, maybe our curtain interlining bump, which I'll show you in a minute. And this actually attaches to your normal curtains. So what you would do is to stitch that on the top like that, which is quite easy to do. And then you've got loops here and you use curtain hooks. And what you do is you attach this to your normal curtain tape. So if I show you, what you would do is just attach that and then attach that and the two sit together so you've got like loose linings attached so that's really good and then if you want to take them down in the summer and at the moment everyone's got drafty windows we're all conscious of our electric bills so this would maybe be a cheap version you could use the polar fleece you could use felt and we do something called curtain interlining bump which is almost like a stitched felt so it doesn't stretch out and that's, I think, two ninety nine a metre. And so that's really good. And that can also go inside your curtain. So you'd have your curtain fabric, this, and then your curtain lining behind it. And it also gives them a bit of a padded feel. So there's lots of options there. Uh, we also do curtain wire, okay, with the eyes. So that's also a quick version of curtains if you wanted, especially like in your kitchen, under a sink maybe wardrobe doors, you want to just put a little fine curtain up. So that's good. We do curtain weights, okay? Lead chain weight, which is like a string of sausages, okay? And that's really good. You'd put in the bottom of your curtains to weight them down. Or you can use curtain weights. A lot of people cover these and you've got the stitching holes and you normally stitch these at the bottom of every seam or join. So they're good. We also do curtain eyelet tape. Okay, people ask me about this all the time. So what you would do is you would put this at the top of your curtains and thread it through a pole, which is very fashionable at the moment. We've got three different colours. So we do gold, black 
or silver for your rings and what you do is you put this underneath the curtain fabric stitch it in cut the hole and then these rings just literally just snap on top and it's really easy to use she says they snap on top and then your curtain fabrics in between and the rings shown at the top so that's really good curtain lining here people sometimes ask me what color is your curtain lining how cream is it it's sort of like an ivory shade again a lot of people use it for lining curtains and maybe just for lining anything it's sort of like a bit like a calico but thinner so that's really good we obviously always do cushions so if you want to maybe accessorize your home make some cushions out of your leftover curtain fabric or maybe even out of our lovely furs we've got lots of furs and throws um, draft excluders for this time of year all of these things really help with keeping rooms warm um, we also do for the summer because all of a sudden the clocks change and everybody starts going mad for this it's our curtain interlining and we do two different types it's like a blackout lining and it almost has like a rubberized back to it which is really good for keeping in warmth and keeping out the sun especially if you've got young children and they're getting up early or we do a lighter weight version in a cream or a white and it's got a black thread woven in it you can't see it but it keeps the light out as well so i think we've got a lot of things to inspire you to get on and make some curtains as i said curtains aren't that difficult to do it's basically a piece of fabric with your tape on the top and the edges finished so you can have all sorts of goes at doing them so come and have a look at our selection online goodbye